Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, we're going to take a look at Amazon Bedrock for image generation. And so there are a few labs here. I can't imagine this is too difficult to use. And my experience, every time utilizing this, they don't work very well. <laughs> but, um, you know, we can try to explore this and, and see what we get. Okay, so, you know, we can see mm, stuff here. But I'm not sure how interesting this is going to be. I might not even want to do this programmatically, to be honest. Um, because it's simply you you give it information and it outputs information, right? But there are a bunch of options here I don't remember. So we do have a bunch of sampling options. Fast blue, green, neon, slow. That's really interesting. So I don't remember those. And this is specifically with stable diffusion, but that might just be the default options for stable diffusion. But if we go to images here, we'll select a model and we will go to st uh, stable diffusion here. And what I'm curious about is Oh, you can generate var uh, variations. That's kind of interesting. So variations would be upload an image to continue editing it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I have like an image of me on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab this. And um, we have reference image. So uh, create, or like, we'll just, I'm, not, I'm trying to say like on a pirate ship. Okay, let's see if that can work. I have no idea if that's how it works. So image dimensions must be at least 256 by 256. Uh, uh, you got 128 by 128. So the graphics is too small, but that's okay. I can just take a new photo. So just give me a second. I'm going to just um, take a photo of me and then upload it quickly, okay? All right, so I uh, took a photo outside really quickly, and uh, it's not the best photo, but we'll... You know what? The other funny part is I do also have a photo of me where I... Uh, am green screened. I'm not sure why I don't use that one, but whatever. We're going to use the one I just took here. And so I have this reference image. It's just me. Uh, see if I can open this here so you can see it's this photo here. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and say on a pirate ship. I'm not sure if that's enough information. Mm, okay, so there might be a new error behind it. Must be multiples of 64. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? Okay, one second. Let me go back into Photoshop. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've shrunken that image to be uh, the new dimensions, 960, which is what it really wants. And so we'll try this again. This is interesting if it can do that. I mean, I didn't give it too much information. But the other thing is that it seems like there was a lot more options. Oh, dear Lord, that is not me anymore, is it? Um, so let's just like same photo, generate the photo, make the photo, um, contrast and shadows, make the photo less washed out. See so if we can do that. Terrible generation, but this is SDL, SDXL 1.0. Um, but yeah, we'll go back over to here. Or was it? So image and stable diffusion are generated by these four main models. So we have the clip text encoder. We have the, the VAE, the, the auto encoder, the UNET, and that there. So going down below here. Typically change from image descriptions, trying to directly specify what you don't want in the photo. So here they're doing like negative prompts. But then we have things like samplers and this other stuff. And so it seems like you're able to adjust, justify or uh, adjust some of the under components there. Right? Still doesn't look like me, looks terrible. Um, And it looks like we could target a specific area. So maybe we go here and just say like add sun. Add the sun. See if we can do that. I had two, two high hopes for that, uh, for it to work, but, and there you go. That is the sun, right? <laughs> Uh, you know, not the best, but, you know, at least it's doing something. But, you know, what's really interesting, again, is those additional options. 
that we don't seem to have here. Um, so I'm just curious about those options. So like we go here and what was it called? And this seems like this is specific to stable diffusion. Clip clients is a technique that uses clip neural networks to guide the generation image to be more in line with the included prompt. Okay, so I wanted to know what the variants are. So it's not exactly telling us that here, which is fine, I suppose. What else can it do? We have sampler. Okay, how about we go over to ch uh, ChatGPT and uh, Claude probably can do it. So um, for stable diffusion, what is this called here? This is, we'll go over to Bedrock. Sorry, just uh, I'm getting kind of lost where things are now. Too many tabs. So for stable diffusion, what configurations can we change? E.g. sampler. Okay, and let's see if it can tell us because I'd like to know. Adjust which layers to clip is used for text encoding. And does it have like style? What about style? Not exactly what I was asking. So let's go back to that code. Again, just trying to see if there's anything interesting here. So here it's a style preset, right? called SDXL, right? So we'll go back here and try maybe over here because I, I just don't know where to find it. So what style presets? Because it's strongly suggesting that there are some. So yeah, I'm not really sure if I would really be interested in using, I've never had good luck with um, these image generation tools. So here we have a bunch. Okay, but it's not really telling us whether these are, are those ones, but clearly those things can be entered in there. Um, so yeah, again, just deciding here if there's anything else. I really don't think so. We have image to image, which I think we were kind of already doing. Image in painting, which was that third option, which we are, was already kind of doing. And so that one was very disappointing. Uh, then we have Titan. And so Titan, I, I believe, is a lot more simplistic. So let's see what they have. Image conditioning, color conditioning, outputting. So uh, to create initial product package design, inspired by the reference image to create a general promotional one. Because they just showed us the images here, color conditioning. We would have to run this whole thing to find out. Um, yeah, you know, and I'm not really that interested in doing it because I've never had good experiences with it. But yeah, I guess we'll just call this done. And um, yeah, they're showing the image playground. But obviously there are more options, but uh, I don't think we're going to get good results. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Ciao.